Good morning guys, today we are in Aswan in Egypt. We traveled down here from Luxor yesterday. And again, today's vlog is sponsored by Experience Egypt. And we are heading on a boat this morning to the Nubian village nearby. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited. This place is incredible. We've got the boat to ourselves. My name is Zakaria, you can call me Zach. Yeah, My Zach, name? okay. Yeah, I'll be your guide for today. Zach is our guide. So uh, our tour today, uh, through the River Nile, uh, we are going to visit the Nubian village and the Botanical Garden and the Elephantine Island. Apparently there may be crocodiles in the water here. Not many, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping we see one. So this is the start of the Sahara Desert and this stretches all the way to Morocco on the west coast of Africa. This is the biggest desert in the world. That is crazy. Okay. We've arrived. Mind your head. Hello. Later. This place is so colourful. This is the design. Uh -huh. This is one of the Nubian house. Mm. And this is the design for the Nubian house from outside. Uh -huh. <gasps> what? Guys, check this out. And is this a, a crocodile from the from this river? Yeah, from Lake Nasser, yeah. This is is this a Nile crocodile? Yes. A Nile crocodile. And these are the babies? Yeah. <gasps> oh, this is a Loma. I hope they release you back in the lake, Aloma. <laughs> wow, this is, this is a live Nile crocodile. This is really cool. What's your name, excuse me? Louis. Hmm? Louis. Louis. Okay. You can try one. We've got some Nubian mint tea, and this drink's called Kaka Day. We found this really pretty teapot, so we just got a cool Instagram. And I also did a slow-mo video of Raya pouring it, that we're gonna try and make like a, a cinemagram or cinemagraph or whatever you call it. It's like a moving picture of the, of the hibiscus tea like flowing into the cup. What's going on, Raya? I'm getting a head tattoo. This is the symbol of the key of life. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hello. Hello. <laughs> We've been learning about Nubian culture and it's quite fascinating because the culture down here, like everything about the culture is different from uh, the north of Egypt. So the language is different, the food, you know, everything. Um, and the, the Nubian culture and area spans from here all the way to the border of Sudan. This is hibiscus. Oh, this is the... the Wouldn't that makes the red drink. Exactly. We've just been given some lemongrass. Smell it. Does it smell, does it smell good? Oh, 
Oh, yeah. It's Egyptian cumin. Oh, cumin, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Wow, handmade scarves. So something crazy about the Nubian villages is they were all like lower down and basically once the dam was built they all got flooded so they got moved up to a higher ground. So a lot of these buildings aren't like super super old but that's also why they got to make them like all colorful and fun and yeah, it's just crazy. They had to relocate like a whole community of people. This is the most ancient monastery in Egypt. Something that's really cool about Aswan is everything you visit seems to be like on the river, so we're just getting a boat to all the places rather than driving there, which I enjoy. And it's nice with a bit of a cool breeze as well as we're going along. So we've just arrived now at the Botanical Gardens. So we're gonna go explore here, thanks. During the British occupation, there was a general who established this botanical gardens and brought plants from all over the world, from different tropical regions, South America, different parts of Africa and Asia. And this is like a collection of plants from all over the place and trees from all over the place. So we're gonna wander around and yeah, this is, uh, this is kind of cool. This tree here is a cotton tree and it originates from China. Look at these amazing buttress roots. Wow. This is a mahogany tree from West Africa. We've now caught a boat to Elephantine Island, which is opposite our hotel. And it's named this because this was once a major trade town and they traded a lot in ivory. I'm happy they don't do that anymore. But um, yeah, I think it's because this was like the, the town as you travel down the Nile, where a lot of um, stuff was shipped up and down. It kind of opened up to the rest of Africa. Right, we're heading into the archeological site Wow. The most ancient temple here is date back to the 12th dynasty, about 2000 year BC. Wow. But later this, the temple it was rebuilt during Greek Roman time by the Ptolemaic. I love that literally chilling across the river from the hotel here is a 4,000 year old temple. As we looked out this morning before we left, we can see this whole island that looks incredible. Wow. I love the scarab. I think that's my favorite Egyptian symbol. So this area would have been the housing for the people working in the temple. It's pretty incredible. learning some interesting history. So this is uh, an ancient stairwell we just walked down. And uh, the reason they built this here is so they could measure the level of the Nile. And then depending on the height, I guess they like tax the farmers 
for using the river water, I guess. I think that's what it is. But um, yeah, it's pretty sophisticated. This place is amazing. Whenever I'm in an ancient archaeological site like this, I'm always fascinated trying to imagine what it would have been like in its heyday. Like, what was this pile of rubble here? Like, how did that look before? Yeah, look, it's just the, this is the whole massive kind of network of buildings. Okay, back in our hotel room. Guys, this is our view. Check this out. What? And that is where we just were on Elephantine Island. Look at the ruins. I think this is such an insane view. And this is where we're heading now. We're gonna go and try and nab some beds by the pool and enjoy this weather. So. Should we sit over there? Guys, I have this thing where sunshine can just like melt my worries away. It's not like I've got a lot of worries right now, but like anything that's cluttered in my head, problems and stuff, just disappears when I'm just sitting, just enjoying the sun. And it's so warm here. Oh. Look what just fell out of this tree. It's a mango tree. You ready? Yeah. yeah. You wanna have some mango? Heck yeah. We got some fresh mango juice and a plate of fruit. And we've we'll we'll spun our chairs around so we can be facing the sun because, you know, we're both sun junkies. Okay, I'm gonna open this mango that we Mm. Really? You want some? You want a little bit? Yeah, maybe. Unfortunately, this is our last day in Egypt. We're actually heading back to Cairo tonight after dinner and then uh, back to London tomorrow morning. Um, yeah, I'm sad. It would be nice to stay here a bit longer, actually. Right, we've managed to get some dinner before we leave. This evening is just so beautiful, guys. The, the temperature is like ideal for me. Um, yeah, we're just sitting out here on the veranda of the restaurant. I think we need to leave to the airport in about 20 minutes. We've arrived back in Cairo after a short flight. We're now gonna go and find our guy. Oh, amazing, thanks. Yeah. We're on the 24th floor of the Four Seasons Hotel. I wanna show you our view over Cairo, check this out. This actually reminds me of Shanghai. It's pretty cool that all of the hotels we've been staying in 
have been literally on the river, on the Nile. Um, yeah, we, <laughs> we've got to get up at before 6 a.m. to catch our flight and it's already like gone midnight, it's like almost 1 a.m. So, and I've got to edit, so probably won't get any sleep tonight. But it's been an epic trip in Egypt. Guys, I'd highly recommend um, putting Egypt on your bucket list of places to come to. It's a beautiful, rich country with so much incredible history. And uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to coming back here. I'll catch you guys in the morning. Peace out, enjoy life, live the adventure, boom.